2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Starting lineups just announced. We're just about set for basketball. We'll be back in a moment. Welcome, sports fans. Thank you for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Brian Anderson here, joined by our analysts, Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, plus reporting from the sidelines, Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. All right, B.A. Well, Rudy Gobert is accustomed to getting overlooked. He said, quote, when you play in a smaller market, you have to do three times what the guys in the big markets do. It's fine, though. I'm just focused on this team. Individual awards aren't what I play for. I want to keep getting better and winning. Guys? He's doing that. Thanks, Allie. The starters for the Golden State Warriors. We've got Kevon Looney. Otto Porter is out there with Andrew Wiggins. Then there's Stephen Curry. And it's Peyton in a shooting guard. And for the Jazz, the backcourt, it's Conley and Mitchell. O'Neal is at power forward with Gobert anchoring at center. And it's Bogdanovich in at the three. And it's going to be the Jazz off the tip. Mitchell against Peyton. Inside, here's Gobert, and Gobert with the stuff. I think we think of Donovan Mitchell first and foremost as a scorer, but I love seeing his passing ability come into play. Wiggins outside. Pass to Curry. Here's Porter. Just five to shoot. No good from 11 feet. Mixing it up inside, just coming up empty-handed. Outside Conley. And here's Mitchell. Now Gobert. Outside Conley. Offensive rebound. Porter with the steal. In transition, here come the Warriors. And the layup is good. The length and athleticism of Otto Porter able to weather the contact. Terrific strength on that one. To the middle. The 11-footer. Warriors with the rebound. First quarter and about a minute and a half in. Curry with it. And it's Gobert picking him up. Shot is good by Curry. Just smooth execution of the pick and roll. Curry has great understanding and a ton of success running this. Conley passes to Gobert. And here's Conley. Floats one. He can't get that one to fall. Looney with some nice D. The Warriors have gone two of three to get this one going. Out of bounds, it'll be Utah's ball. And so it's Utah with it. Trailing by two to the inside. Conley can't hit from in close. Not a single shot has gone down this period. It is the very definition of ice cold. Pass to Wiggins. That drops, and it comes Andrew off an assist from Curry. Well, how about the aggressiveness of Andrew Wiggins? So good at fighting through the contact, taking the challenge of the defense. That's beautiful. It is incredible to think how Stephen Curry can make something out of nothing. Broken plays, any breakdown, you need a bailout shot. This guy gets better when there is chaos. Timeout called the Jazz. So often, Doris, we've seen Curry almost lose the ball, then pull off something amazing. It's, he's got a great sense of the moment. Chaotic situations lead to him getting open. One of the many special skills Stephen Curry has. Conley passes to Gobert. Mitchell with the ball, hounded by Wiggins. They get it back. 
Gobert with the bucket. You know that old expression, you can't teach size, but Gobert showing great effort as well. I love that he creates second chance opportunities. Now here's Curry. Wiggins outside. Payton passes to Curry. The kick out to Wiggins. Just five on the clock. It's blocked by Gobert. And the remarkable reach of the stifled tower. Gobert twice on the pipes. Out to the right wing. Conley passes to Gobert. The rebound by Wiggins. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Outside Curry. Back to Payton. Pass to Wiggins. Here's Looney. Defended by Gobert. Outside Payton. From behind the arc. No good that time. And Utah will come the other way. Now here's Conley. And he hits it to tie the game. Boy, you've got to love when Mike Conley shoots it with confidence. Goes to the catch and shoot game. All right, Mike. Outside Payton. Looney, high post. Back to Wiggins. Pass to Curry. Stolen by Conley. And the Jazz pushing it up now. Here's Mitchell. And that misses. That would have put him up. The Warriors have gone three of six since the tip. Here's Curry. And he sinks that one. Hitting the back of the rim on the way in. I'll tell you, Steph Curry has worked so hard to develop that ball handling ability, and it shows through on that bucket. What a move from Steph. Now here's Mitchell. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Bogdanovich, no good. The Warriors have gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Wiggins, right side. Pass to Payton. Outside Curry, six to shoot. Off target from outside. Utah's gone 0 for 2 from outside. Here's O'Neal, guarded by Payton. O'Neal misses. The Warriors leading. Curry with it. Here's Payton. Outside Porter. It as the shot clock ticks down. Porter's gotten his second bucket of the game. Well, when Porter gets that kind of room to operate inside, he's extremely dangerous. Mitchell into the lane. Oh, rejected by Wiggins. Pass to Looney. The rebound by the Jazz. Gobert's got five rebounds tonight. And Mitchell with the slam. Well, how about the court awareness from Bogdanovich showing off his ability to find the open man, Kev? Now here's Curry. Outside Porter. Down low. Wiggins outside. That one drops, and it comes off an assist from Porter. Wiggins got five. This guy gets up in the air so smoothly. Andrew Wiggins, a nice foundation for that shot. Timeout called. The Jazz. Trying anything now to get them out of this slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. Pascal, he's checked in for Utah. Gay comes in for Bogdanovich. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Warriors. We've seen a lot of their points coming off penetration in this first half. They've also made their mark in the paint. A lot of their scoring coming down low so far. What's up?
boy, in recent years, Mike Conley taking more shots from long range. But make no mistake, this guy able to score at every single level. Now here's Curry, outside Porter. To the paint. The shot by Looney, no good. Utah trailing here. And Doris, you look at the shooting numbers for Conley. He can hurt you from deep and everywhere in between. Well, it's easy to, quote, get to your spot when you have so many spots on the floor. At the same time, I feel like Conley does such a great job balancing scoring and setting the table for his teammates. From deep, hey. They grab their own miss. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. Boy, the added strength of Rudy Gobert over the years helps him complete the end one. You get the sense this guy loves to score the basketball. Boy, year after year, Rudy Gobert tries to pay the price to improve. We know he's dominant in the paint, obviously an exceptional defensive player, but the points, rebounds, blocks, everything has climbed. Clarkson's checked in for Conley. Bielitsa has checked in for the Warriors. Poole comes in for Wiggins. And now they lead as the free throw drops in for him. You know, he's always been imposing with his height. But Doris, the strength work Gobert's done, it's really paid dividends. Well, he makes his living in the painted area, right? You have to carve out space to finish at a high level. You've got to gobble up rebounds. All of that extra strength, all of that extra agility never goes to waste. Now here's Mitchell. There's the drop. Whoa! Whoa! Well, why did Donovan Mitchell win the dunk contest? Case in point right there. Here's Curry. To the inside. Here's Poole. No good. Had a chance to end the run there. Pass to Clarkson for three. Not going to go that time. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Here's Curry. Clarkson with the defensive effort. Utah leading. Now Kay. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. He sends it home with some passion. I think he's rubbing it in a little bit here. Hanging up there like that. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Mitchell against Payton. Back to Bielita. Down low. Here's Porter. Gay with the defensive effort. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Outside Pascal. Clarkson against Curry. Clarkson attacking. The Warriors pull it in. Outside Porter. Right side, Peyton. Pass to Curry. Oh, it's stolen by Mitchell. And now the Jazz on the run in transition. And there's Clarkson. That one's good. On the assist by Mitchell. And the Jazz lead by seven. Clarkson against Curry. A shot to stop the drought. Knocks it down from distance. Curry's got seven points in the game. I, the supreme confidence from Steph Curry to attempt that shot, let alone make it impossible to measure this guy's range. And that one's good. Clarkson using his speed advantage to create the separation he needs for the shot. Now a timeout called by Golden State. All right. Look who's coming to Jack. Whiteside, he's checked in for Gobert. And it's Ingles in for Mitchell. And so it's Golden State with it. Six-point game. Poole against Whiteside. Pass to Kaminga. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys, and it serves him just fine. Here's Whiteside. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Whiteside, this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Golden State has gone 2 of 5 from beyond the arc in the first quarter. Bielita outside. Fires from deep. A 
Another three for Golden State. Well, what a great look by Andre Iguodala. We know he's unselfish. If there's space for his guy, he's going to find him. Ingles with it. Picked up by Iguodala. Oh, it's stolen by Iguodala. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Pass to Gay. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Nemanja Bielica. Third team foul. At the line for Utah, Rudy Gay, taking two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. That free throw misses. That one misses. Golden State has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. And it's Iguodala off the drive. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Well, the athleticism and speed gets Andre Iguodala to the rack, and then the strength of frame to absorb the hit. Beautiful. A familiar face rejoining the Warriors. Yes, the finals MVP, Andre Iguodala, coming back to the Bay. Now, you figured it was just a matter of time. Both parties are very interested in having Iguodala close out his career as a Warrior. The first free throw is good. Well, the veteran leadership... The unselfish attitude and the versatility of Andre Iguodala, to me, this guy is excellent at whatever is asked of him. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Well, Eric Paschal has shown that he can be a force offensively off the bench. Easily took to the six-man role. Great offensive arsenal. And it's Gay with the miss. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Cool against Paschal. Inside, Bielitsa. And it's all tied up. Bielitsa's got five now. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Clarkson outside. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. High game here in Utah. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. And some good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. And take a look at the Jazz performance here, guys. What do you think? Well, coming into tonight, maybe you thought they were going to settle for perimeter jump shots. <laughs> nope, that's not the case. Uh, they've certainly made the commitment to pounding the basketball into the painted area, and boy, is it paying dividends. Golden State has gone three of six from deep so far. Joe Ingles is out there with Jordan Clarkson. Then there's Eric Paschal. Then there's Hassan Whiteside. And it's Gay in at the three spot. That's the group for Utah, getting going in the second. Now here's Poole. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And he comes up with a bucket. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Clarkson passes to Whiteside. Back to Clarkson. Oh. 
Add that to his line. Jordan now three Clarkson. for six. How about Jordan Clarkson? The ability at his position to absorb contact and finish the play. Iguodala outside. Pass to Kaminga. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Kaminga. Kaminga's got his second basket. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Here's Ingles. Iguodala with the rebound. The Warriors leading. And here's Poole. Kuminga's shot is off. Gay with the ball. Puts up a three. This is another. Just one of four from the floor. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. Here's Iguodala. Excellent D there from Ingles. The Jazz have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Here's Clarkson. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Thanks, Brian. The Warriors are trying to get back to the top of the Western Conference. Stephen Curry said, quote, it's tough. Guys want to outperform and exceed expectations. Nobody is content just being middle of the road. It's a challenge we all need to take head on. Yeah, they're trying to bring it all together, Allie. Thank you. <laughs> they're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Okay, outside. Now here's Clarkson. Six points for him. Kept alive. Here's Whiteside. Up again. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Ooh, hard work creating the second chance opportunity. Poole against Clarkson. There's the three. A nice shot by Toscano. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. Three minutes of action thus far on the second. Clarkson against Poole. Let's go with a three. That shot off the mark. And Golden State will come the other way. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. Higadala outside. To the middle. Here's Kuminga. Uses the glass on the layup. Kuminga. And it's a seven-point Warrior lead. And in the league today, we've got some all-time greats playing out on the wing. But who do you think the best wing in the NBA is right now, Greg? Oh, boy, oh, boy. You're trying to get me in trouble. That's a tough one. I mean, you have LeBron, you have Giannis, you have Kawhi, KD. All of them are elite. All of them are champions. So if I had to choose, uh, I guess I'll go with, I don't know. They're just all great. Pascal with nobody on him. He buries that jumper. He is too good a mid-range shooter to leave him that open. The Warriors have gotten an impressive six of eight shots to fall in the second. Here's Kaminga. Pascal defends. Pass to Kaminga. And here's Poole. Iguodala outside. Back to Poole. Down to five on the shot clock. Rebounded by the Jazz. Here's Gay. Ingles from outside. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Well, just another weapon in the arsenal of Joe Ingles, right? The catch-and-shoot game on point. Pass to Bielitsa. Here's Toscano. Here's Kuminga. And down it goes. Jam that one home. It's just a great screen. And they got a high-powered finish out of it. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. And Utah calls time here. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. For the Jazz, Gobert's checked in for Whiteside. O'Neal comes in for Pascal, And Bogdanovich is subbed in for Gay. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. You know... 
You can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. And so it's Utah with it. Clarkson outside. Warriors with the rebound. Bielitsa's got his fourth rebound in this one. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. It always helps to get these kinds of looks, right? Super easy to convert from that distance. Now here's Clarkson. He has six. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jordan Poole. That's his first foul of the game. He didn't have his feet planted. Conley's checked in for Clarkson. Mike Conley. Pass to Bogdanovich. Takes the three. Kaminga pulls it in. Golden State has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Conley against Poole, and he can't extend the lead to double digits. Utah has gone just one of four from downtown so far in the second. Bogdanovich on the wing. Back to Conley. The three ball. Rebounded by Bielitsa. Bielitsa's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Iguodala. Down low. And the powerful one-handed slam. It is zero fun trying to guard Andre Iguodala in the screen and roll. So adept at reading the D and putting the pass on target. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Utah, Joe Ingles. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Ingles. Here's a guy in Joe Ingles who truly is an example of the right fit, the right organization makes all the difference in your career. Joe Ingles is a smart, tough, capable basketball player on both ends of the floor, and he just needed the right place to show that. And the Warriors making a change here. Looney's checked in. Both good from the line that time. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. The Warriors leading. Now Poole, Iguodala outside. To the paint, here's Looney, and Looney with the slam. How good a passer is Andre Iguodala, showing off his incredible court vision there. Conley passes to Gobert. Now Conley. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's and after 14 years in the NBA, Mike Conley finally an all-star in 2021. And he richly deserved it. A three-time Joe Dumars trophy winner for sportsmanship. Like yours truly. I mean, he does it the right way. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And I think when you say Mike Conley All-Star, now it's official. <laughs> yeah, you're right, B.A. I mean, because you talk about the respect he has around this league. He's always been viewed in that light. A key part to that grit and grind era there in Memphis. And now he's writing a superb second act. The Jazz making a switch here. Mitchell's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. Mike Conley, probably one of the most respected players in the league, and I don't see this guy stopping anytime soon. He brings great effort every single night, plays with a team-minded selflessness, 
is a big shot maker. This guy has had such a solid, probably underrated career. Boy, the defensive improvement from Andrew Wiggins last year was significant. He blocked a ton of shots and would take on any challenge he could night by night. And with Wiggins, the team started calling him two-way Wiggs for his play doors. Well, he earned that name. Wiggins has always had the tools to be a great defender. He has just now put it all together and made a major leap forward. The free throw drops for Wiggins. I think Wiggins will always be remembered in that monster trade for Kevin Love a while ago. You don't see many trades like that in the NBA. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Utah has gone only one of five from beyond the three-point line in the second quarter. Bogdanovich against Payton. Pass to Gobert. Back to Bogdanovich. The three from Mitchell. Pure from three-point range. Three. Mitchell's got seven. It appears their offense is lacking some balance right now. Maybe too much reliance on the free ball. Curry passes to Wiggins. Driving in. Good work defensively by Mitchell. Boy, that's too easy to miss, but somehow he finds a way to do it. Bogdanovich on the wing. Stolen by Wiggins. And he goes in for the dunk. That's a nice drive by Andrew Wiggins. Has an understanding of the game and knowledge of where to get to on the court. Pass to Mitchell. And Andrew Wiggins gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Porter Jr., he's checked in for the Warriors. Fourth team foul. Warriors substitution, Otto Porter. Off the inbound pass. And it's Mitchell with the bucket inside. Mitchell's got five points now in the quarter. That's fantastic shot making this quarter after struggling a bit in the first. Outside Payton. To the inside. Porter gets the bucket. He's got six. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. And here's Conley. He's got seven. Pass to Gobert. Outside Conley. Now here's Mitchell. Jacks up a three. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Conley against Curry. And here's Porter. The kick out, Curry. Cash. Assisting on the play was Porter. Curry's got 10 points in the game. And they've really been more consistent from the field this quarter. Conley passes to Gobert. Outside Conley. The three from Mitchell. It's not going to go for him. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Wiggins outside. Over Mitchell. Wiggins no good. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. For three, O'Neal. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Wiggins passes to Curry. Looney with the ball. Outside Porter. Clock at six. Back to Looney. And that'll be Golden State's ball as it goes out of bounds. Warriors able to keep possession. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Gobert. Just four to shoot. 
Outside Curry. Fires the three. He really hasn't been able to maintain the same pace he had in the first quarter. Here's O'Neal. And it comes off the front of the rim. Golden State has gone two of three from the three-point line in the second. Wiggins against Mitchell. Let's it fly. And the shot's good by Wiggins. Wiggins. He's got 11. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. And for the Jazz, they're shooting 35% in the second so far. Conley against Curry. Conley passes to Gobert. Launches a three. Looney grabs a miss. Well, that's just inconsistency from him, and it's happened all night, and it hasn't helped their cause. Payton, no good. The Jazz shooting only 38% from the floor. Not great. Mitchell, the pass to Bogdanovich. That three's off the mark. Golden State has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Inside. Here's Porter. And then oh, Porter oh, with the dunk. As great a scorer as he is, Steph Curry is a willing mover of the basketball. He doesn't get enough credit to me for playing the right way. The shot by Conley, no good. The Warriors shooting a fantastic 57%. Here's Wiggins. Cash. Andrew Assisting on the play Wiggins. was Porter. Porter's got three assists in the game. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. Here's Mitchell. Oh, rejected by Wiggins. In transition, here come the Warriors. Oh, and a beautiful Andrew feed leads Wiggins. to a monster jam. Yeah, they're really rolling right now. That lead keeps getting bigger and bigger. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. It's been all about Andrew Wiggins for the Golden State Warriors. He put together 10 points in the quarter. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Coach Quinn Snyder with us now, and Coach, a bit of a lull for this team scoring the ball. Why? It had nothing to do with anything other than us being aggressive. We're like walking the ball off the court. Whoever's got it, we've got to attack. At least effort is something you can control. Thank you, Coach. Thanks very much, Allie. And folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith. Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. Andrew Wiggins led the way in the first half. He ended up with 15 points, two block shots, and one steal. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? They're getting into the lane whenever they want. Getting some high percentage looks. I don't see the coaching staff switching up too much. Keep it simple. Force your opponent to adapt to you. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Utah? I know teams love to rely on the three these days, but you got to know when to get away from it. They didn't, at least throughout the first half. Hopefully they're making the adjustments, but sometimes teams just get stubborn. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. Excited first half. We'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. How about Andrew Wiggins? Man, is he playing well. The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. Kick it off the second half. Here's Steve Kerr's five. Otto Porter is out there with Kevon Looney. Then there's Stephen Curry. Stephen then it's Andrew Curry. Wiggins. And it's Peyton in at the two guard. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. Pass to Mitchell. Going inside. And Mitchell with the slam. Boy, if he's got momentum, you better step back. Donovan Mitchell on his way to the cup. Curry with it. Down low. 
O'Neal pulls it in. Utah shooting 37% from the floor at this point. The three from Mitchell. He can't get it to go. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. The drive by Porter. Ooh, the lead oh, pass oh. was in the perfect oh, spot to set up the layup. Stephen. Porter's got Porter. 10. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Again, the miss by Mitchell. The Warriors have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Outside for Porter. Pass to Curry. They double-team Curry. Here's Looney, and Looney with the slam. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. Utah has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Now Mitchell. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Double-team on Mitchell to the right side. Here's Conley. Shot clock at 6. That went off the back iron and out. Boy, as slow a start as you could have. Just one for four from the field. They're struggling. Curry passes to Payton. Now here's Wiggins. Defended by Bogdanovich. Pass to Porter. Fades away. Rebounded by the Jazz. Gobert's got nine rebounds now. And the Utah Jazz with three All-Stars last season. But Grant, safe to say that Rudy Gobert is their most important player when it comes to winning games. You know, B.A., I think so. I agree. I mean, Donovan Mitchell is terrific. Definitely a star. But you factor Gobert's impact at both ends of the floor. He might just be the most important player on that team. And the Warriors with possession here. After the basket by Utah. Wiggins passes to Porter. And he can't bank that one in. There's Bogdanovich with the three. On oh, target from range. Boy, Bogdanovich with the distance delivery. How about that effortless shooting motion? Curry against Conley. Curry goes in. Outside for Porter. And the ball out of play. The Jazz will have it. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. Utah has gone just one of three from deep since the break. Conley with the ball. Now guarded by Curry. Conley passes to Gobert. Mitchell finds Conley. The three is up. No good on the shot. And Golden State will go the other way with it. And Peyton, here we go. Mitchell grabs a miss. Mitchell's got four rebounds now. Here's O'Neal. Blocked! Go, go, gadget arms for Porter, enabling him to stuff that one. Here's Wiggins. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. A good look from Bogdanovich. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. The Warriors have gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. Conley against Curry to the paint. Porter. And then Porter with the dunk. Well, good screen and an even better finish. Porter is doing it all right now. Pass to O'Neal. Back to Mitchell. Double team on Mitchell to the inside. O'Neal misses. The Warriors have gone four of nine in the third quarter. Curry passes to Wiggins. Oh, okay then. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Oh, the ease with which he elevates Wiggins with a highlight move that time. The kick out to Conley. That one falls. Nice set up by Mitchell. Conley's got five points now this quarter. Puts one in the eye of the defense. First triple of the evening. Now here's Curry. He's got 12. Quarter to pass to Curry. It's blocked by Gobert. 
Mitchell against Porter. The kick out to Conley. Back to Mitchell. That shot is off. Great D that time from Porter. The Warriors have gone 5 of 11 in this third quarter. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. So, Brian, the NBA tests out different rules in the G League, including shooting one free throw for all the possible points to speed things up. How much did it hurt players' free throw percentages, not getting the multiple tries? Well, averages dropped a percentage point or two. Is that a deal breaker or something to consider? Yeah, those are good questions. We'll see, Allie. Thank you. Here's Porter. The Jazz making their last shot. The bank shot, no good. Boy, against so little defensive pressure, you have to convert that. Pass to Conley. Here's Mitchell. Back to Conley. Beyond the arc. And again, it's Utah with a three. After hitting nothing from downtown in the first half, that's his second make sense. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Boy, an all-star from his third season, and Donovan Mitchell continues to thirst for improvement. Scoring, rebounding, playmaking, everything climbing year after year. Bielitsa checked in for the Warriors. Iguodala comes in for Wiggins. Here's Curry. He's got 12. Pass to Bielitsa. Outside Payton. Now Iguodala. Six on the shot clock. Now here's Bielitsa from deep. Mitchell grabs a miss. And two other stats that Mitchell continues to increase. Three throws made and three pointers made, Doris. Well, those are two hallmarks of efficient scoring in the modern NBA. It's not about scoring with volume, right? He can do that. But Mitchell surpassing Carl Malone for the most 30-point games in Jazz franchise history for a player before his 25th birthday. Think about that. The three from Curry. Rebound, Utah. O'Neal's got five rebounds in the game. Goes up. And there's another one for the Jazz. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. Here's Curry. Outside Payton. Pass to Porter. The three from Curry. That one drops, and it comes off an assist from Porter. Porter's got his fourth assist in this one. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. And the Jazz call time here. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? All right, the Jazz making a change here. Pascal's checked in. Outside Conley. Pass to Mitchell. Let's it go from deep. Nails it from beyond the arc. Mitchell's got 19. His first triple of the second half. That makes three for the game. And here's Bielitsa. Outside Curry. Three-pointer. Another three for Golden State. He's hit a pair of threes each half, making a significant impact. And here's Conley. He's got 15. Outside Bogdanovich. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. Well, this is Boyan Bogdanovich's specialty. You make a three on one end, he says, I got your back. Iguodala with the ball. That shot off. And it's Utah the other way. Outside Bogdanovich. Back to Pascal. It's stolen by Bielitsa. To the middle. Here's Porter. Oh, he gets it to go. 7 of 13 now. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Conley. Iguodala with the rebound. 
Golden State has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Stolen by Conley. Bogdanovich on the wing. Can't get it to drop. Great D that time from Porter. Curry against Gobert. Pass to Bielitsa. And stolen by Gobert. And the Jazz pushing it up now. They double him with Curry. Now Conley, guarded by Payton. Conley passes to Gobert. Now Mitchell. With the drive. And Mitchell with the slam. I tell you, when Donovan Mitchell starts to cook, you might as well sit back and enjoy the show. Now here's Curry. 18 points for him. Outside Porter. And then Porter with Otto the Porter. dunk. Well, Otto Porter rises up, hammers it home on the dunk, and boy, what lift he got on that one. On the wing, Mitchell. And Mitchell with the slam. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot. But right now, this guy is cooking. Conley against Curry. The Elita outside. There's 53 seconds left to play in the third. It's tipped and stolen by Gobert. Here's Mitchell, and Mitchell with the slam. You can see the kind of confidence Donovan Mitchell has in that handle. His ability to navigate off the triple drive. Nice. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Well, despite all he's accomplished, Donovan Mitchell hasn't escaped criticism. Those saying he doesn't have what it takes to get to the next level. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's not letting it phase him, though. Whiteside, he's checked in for Utah. Ingles comes in for Bogdanovich. And the Warriors making a switch here. To the inside. And the jam by Bielitsa. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Boy, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. They're just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? Golden State has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Here's Kaminga. And it's blocked by Whiteside. Pass to Pascal. Inside. And it's going to be a three-second call. That's a three-second violation. Golden State call. Check it in for the jail. Jordan Watson. Just four seconds left in the third. Stephen Curry getting it done for the Golden State Warriors. Helping them space the floor. Two triples in that quarter. Three for the game. We'll be right back with you shortly. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. They've got Joe Ingles. Jordan Clarkson is out there with Mike Conley. Then there's Rudy Gay, and it's Whiteside in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the five on the floor for the Jazz. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And so it's Golden State with it. After the basket by Utah. To the paint. And the basket by Looney. On, Looney. And the Warriors lead by six. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. Pass to Whiteside. Now Clarkson. Outside Conley. Now here's Ingles. Six to shoot. 
from downtown. Utah, the rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Here's Poole. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Pass to Whiteside. Clarkson for three. He drops it from range. Clarkson. Clarkson's got five points now this quarter. Well, the one thing about Clarkson, a little bit inconsistent from deep, so that's a welcome sight for his team. Here's Kaminga, defended by Gay. Back to Poole. Down low. The kick out to Wiggins from outside the arc. That one doesn't drop. And Utah will come the other way. Outside Conley. Here's Gay. The shot won't fall. Excellent D there from Wiggins. The Warriors have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Rebound, Utah. Despite the defensive presence, he challenges at the rim. Give him an A for effort. Outside, Ingles. Conley against Poole. Conley passes to Gay. Unloads from 13. The Warriors pull it in. Poole's got four rebounds in the game. Hey, the struggle is real. He hasn't found much success with his offense today. Pass to Kaminga. Here's Toscano. Inside. Fires for three. Rebounded by Gay. Gay's got six rebounds here tonight. Conley passes to Whiteside. The shot's good. There's a reason Mike Conley's teammates love playing with him. If you're open, I promise he'll find you. Pass to Looney. Here's Kaminga. Here's Poole. Wiggins outside. Drops in the three. Wiggins. Wiggins has got 20 points. He's taking what he can get here. Has a three in each half. Conley finds Gay. And the lamp is good off the glass. Zero rim protection. Unforgivable in a tight ball game like this. You know, we talk about execution offensively coming down the stretch. To me, it's as important defensively, and they didn't have it. If you give him any sort of space, he's going to attack. Pass to Gay. And here's Conley. It's tipped. They get it back. The kick out to Gay. Poke loose. And it's out of bounds to the Jazz as Utah retains possession. O'Neal, he's checked in for Utah. And the Warriors making a change here. Shot clock at five. Clarkson passes to Gay. The Jazz with another miss. Golden State has got one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. Clarkson against Curry. Pass to Bielitsa. Utah with the rebound. Whiteside's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Clarkson. Oh, a rim rattling two-handed jam. Big time move by Jordan Clarkson. The defense forced to adjust. That's an incredible drive. Curry with it. Here's the three. And the Warriors with another three. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. Now here's Ingles. Drives to the hoop. There's the double team with Wiggins. Gay against Bielitsa. 
And it's Gay with the miss. Boy, it's been a struggle in this quarter, and the team needs more from him, there's no doubt. Curry draws the double. Pass to Bielitsa. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got six assists now in the game. The Jazz have gotten five of 12 shot attempts to go so far in the fourth quarter. Gay finds Clarkson. With the 10-footer. That shot missing. Great D that time from Porter. Golden State has gone three for five from three-point land since the end of the third quarter. O'Neal pulls it in. O'Neal's got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Clarkson. Oh, rejected by Wiggins. Well, using every bit of that seven-foot wingspan, Wiggins airmailing it back. He takes it in. Oh, wow. wow! Incredible! Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Well, it's like the ball is an extension of his hands. Wiggins with the impressive handle. Now here's Whiteside. Over Bielitsa. And another miss by Utah. Now here's Curry. The drive by Porter. Well, this guy not shy about putting it on the deck and attacking the defense. Porter working his way to the strike. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Warriors. The fantastic passing we saw from them in the first half carried right over into the second half, too. And what a superb performance behind the arc for them. They have been killing it from three-point range. Makes a first. I just look at a guy like Otto Porter, and it seems like he's coming into his own in this league. He scuffled a bit, certainly, in his first season, but a key piece for this group moving forward. Rudy Gobert's checked in for Utah. Donovan Mitchell comes in for Gay. And Golden State also making a switch. Iguodala's checked in for Poole. Porter hits them both. And Utah has possession. Pass to Mitchell. To stop the run. Oh, and Mitchell powers it home. Well, it's all about decision making in the pick and roll. And Donovan Mitchell making all the right choices. Clarkson against Curry. And here's Iguodala. Wiggins outside. Outside Curry from the arc. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Utah has gotten one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. Outside, Ingles. Over Iguodala. They get the rebound. Controls the rebound and the putback. This guy so dangerous on the offensive glass, and you love to see it jam at home and leave no doubt. Wiggins against Ingles. Wiggins passes to Curry. The three-pointer off the mark. Utah trailing here. Pass to Mitchell. The three is up. Nails it from three. Mitchell's got 18 points now here in the second half. How about a nice bounce to his step from Donovan Mitchell getting the catch-and-shoot game, sir? And the Warriors call time here. And as we head down the stretch, these players are focused on absorbing their coach's game plan and also drinking some Gatorade so their bodies will be well hydrated for the minutes ahead. And now we present our new balance player of the game, Stephen Curry. And he's really had a tremendous night from the field. He was shooting at a clip over 50%. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's the kind of efficiency that makes a coach rest well at night. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. During that break, Coach Steve Kerr had some advice for the team. He likes what he's seeing, but he cautioned his players, we are not far enough ahead to assume anything. Momentum can shift in a heartbeat. We have to be diligent, and we have to be smart. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Now here's Mitchell. Let's the three fly. Warriors with the rebound. 
Looney's got six rebounds now in the game. Now Curry. Golden State needs to get off a shot. And Looney with the slam. Well, there's evidence all over the floor of how well Stephen Curry runs this team. He does a good job keeping them at their pace and making all the right decisions. Now here's Conley. Outside, Ingles. The shot comes out. Oh, some solid defense from Poole. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Well, the quickness to beat you inside. Wiggins possesses that in spades. At the line for the Warriors, Andrew Wiggins. At the line for two. First one falls. He does not get the second one. Utah has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Pass to Mitchell. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. Mitchell's got 32 points in the game. Now you give Donovan the mid-range jumper. He will make you pay. Fool outside. And he drives in. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Wiggins outside. Conley against Curry. Pass to Looney. And stolen by Gobert. A moment here for an injury report. All right, let's find out the news on Otto Porter. Allie, what'd you learn? Thanks, guys. I just talked with the Warriors head athletic trainer. The issue was a poke to the eye and resulting in poor vision. Hopefully only temporary. All right, Allie, thanks. Well, we're all hoping he gets healthy quickly, guys. Yes, we do. And, and these trainers are so good at what they do. Hopefully they'll be able to get him back on the court soon. Now here's Mitchell. The rebound by Wiggins. Wiggins got six rebounds in the game. And the Warriors call time here. They're ahead by six. 1.14 left in the fourth quarter here. And the Warriors make some changes. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Looney. And Iguodala subbed in for Poole. 1.14 left in the fourth quarter here. Here's Curry. Iguodala outside. Curry finds Wiggins. Back to Curry. Three-pointer. Gets the three ball to go. Curry's got six here in the quarter. Boy, once Stephen Curry starts to cook, it's like an avalanche. The guy can score at will from anywhere. Here's Mitchell. Oh, and Mitchell powers it home. He's shaking the hoop. He's actually shaking the whole building. Oh, what a slam. Look here. The fans going crazy right now. Now here's Curry. Shot clock at six. From deep three-point range, O'Neal pulls it in. And Utah has possession. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. Mitchell, count it! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five! He might be young, but Mitchell is clutch. That's beautifully done. Mike Conley, that's his first personal foul. Third team foul. 
There's 18 seconds Utah left in the fourth quarter, Mike and he commits the intentional foul. That's his second personal foul. Fourth team foul. Shooting for Golden State, Stephen Curry. Two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good, and that increases the lead to six. You know, despite the fact that this guy has already won multiple MVP awards, Steph Curry is still pursuing improvement and trying to add to everything his team does. I love that approach. Well, we know this. Free throw shooting is such a mental aspect of the game. This guy keeps his composure and comes through. Time called here. The Jazz decide to talk it over. They're trailing by seven. 17 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. All right, guys, what's your take? Too little, too late. Making a change won't save them now. Well, I think he might just want to remind these guys, hey, let's finish the game the right way. And here is Porter. Pass to Curry. Golden State winning this one. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them. They had to dig deep to come out on top. Yeah, you know, some teams might buckle under the pressure towards the end. The crowd was so amped up, such a hostile environment. But they stood tall and got the win. And that about wraps it up for Dorf.